Escala. Milenal. Escala. Escala. Founder of the Milan-based Memphis Group, Ettore Sotsis was an Italian designer and architect who lived from 1917 to 2007. He was born in Austria but moved to Italy in the 1920s where he received his degree in architecture from the Polytechnic University of Turin in 1939. During the 1930s, he served in the Italian military and spent part of the Second World War in a labour camp in Yugoslavia. After the war, he and his father worked as architects on new modernist buildings to replace those that had been destroyed during the war. A significant accomplishment of his was founding the Memphis Group in Milan December 11, 1980 that was active from 1981 to 88. They were the epitome of postmodern design that had a focus towards furniture design, but also featured architectural pieces with many of the members being architects. Their designs resisted the notion at the time that furniture design should prioritise function over form. Instead, they created highly decorative and unconventional items that became known for their vibrant, bold colours and shapes. Some of the central ideas of the Memphis movement and Sotz's own practice are best embodied by the Carlton Room Divider, which works as both a functional bookshelf capable of storing a user's possessions and as a decorative, sculptural, almost totem-like object. Featuring boldly coloured laminate and a signature bacteria print, the Carlton Room Divider creates contrast to its use of plastic lanterns and medium density fiberboard, more usually associated with cheap mass produced items, to create a finely handcrafted luxury item produced by skilled artisans. Sotis' use of these materials subverts ideas about good taste and high and low art and design, a reoccurring theme in the output of the Memphis Group. In 1956, Sotsis travelled to New York and worked in the office of American industrial designer George Nelson for a period of time, becoming inspired by the American use of bold, bright colours. Upon his return to Italy, he went to work for the Olivetti Company where, inspired by pop art and art deco, he designed the now iconic Valentine Portable Pipe Rider. This proved to be quite radical for the time period, as the device's bright red colour challenged the ideas of what seemingly mundane equipment or machinery should be. Sotsis was also inspired by Asian styles of art and philosophies. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, Sotsis frequently travelled to southern India, where he is thought of being inspired by the bold palette and forms of the region's architecture, traces of which can be found in his own architectural practice, such as the Maui House. Other notable works are his Tahiti lamp, an ultra fragola mirror. Living for most of the 20th and the beginning of the 21st century, Sotsis experienced many significant world events such as the Second World War, in which she served in the Italian military, the space race between the US and USSR with the man on the moon, and other events throughout the Cold War, such as the Vietnam War and the fall of the Berlin Wall. He also lived through 9-11 in 2001, for which the effects are still being seen to this day. Prior to this semester, I was familiar with the work of Ettore Sotsis and his association with the Memphis movement. However, I was unaware of his earlier work, such as his design for the iconic Olivetti typewriter and the significance of his design practice as a whole. I found it fascinating researching his explorations of form and function, particularly his use of cheap laminates and other materials to purposely subvert ideas about high-end design and artisanship. In tracking through his career, I was interested to discover various influences on his work and how his designs evolved over time. It was also quite surprising to see how many significant world events occurred during his lifetime through the 20th and early 21st century. His impact still resonates with current design as his kitsch playful aesthetics are becoming increasingly fashionable with contemporary designers still being influenced by his work today.